Hi guys, um, you're welcome to today's Chokma School session. I am super, super, super excited to have you on tonight's live stream. Like we always do, let me know where you're joining us from. Um, like we always do, let's know where you're joining us from. And don't forget to copy the link. Don't forget to copy the link. My guest is ready. I'm just sharing the link across. Innocentia says she's joining us from Accra. You're welcome. Mensa Albert, why are you joining us from? My amazing assistant, Jen, is on. Chokma School, episode two for the year. Give Tisha, she's joining us from the Volta region in Ho. I'm going to be in Ho tomorrow. Jana says she's joining us from Ho. I'm going to be in Ho tomorrow. It's going to be explosive. I want you to copy the link and invite someone if you are joining in on the stream. Queen Nubuke, am I pronouncing it right? Or Nubuke? Um, invite, copy the link. I want you to, Mensa Albert says he's joining us from Doma. I want you to copy the link and then invite someone. My guest is ready. Kim Princess is joining us. Isel says is joining us from um, Takwa. Isel, I met your friend today. I was servicing my car for tomorrow's trip. And then a friend, um, somebody just approached me and said, are you um, MBA? And I'm like, yeah, I am. And he says, my name is Emmanuel. Um, Kim Priest Isel has been posting a lot of your content. And I said, oh, I see. God bless you for that. I really appreciate it. Roberta says she's joining from Accra. Um, the people in who are saying they are ready. Awesome, 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 awesome. Like we always do, I want you to copy the link, post on your status, um, let somebody know that we're live for tonight's Chokma School um, edition. I'm equally posting and sharing across my socials. And my guest is in the building already. He's somebody that, um, I see a lot of my younger self in him whenever I listen to him, you know. So... I'm really, really super excited to be bringing him on, and um, I'll be introducing him in a bit. This one says, I'm Sarah. I'm joining from Legon. Awesome. This particular account with the Sarah, Keys Hub, every time they watch my YouTube content, they'll go like, ah, knowledge, pen. I usually read that, and then myself and the team will usually like laugh at it. But we're live for tonight's session. I want you to invite as many persons as possible. Um, I'm posting everywhere from my Facebook to my LinkedIn. I want as many people to learn um, from this amazing gentleman that I'm bringing on for tonight. A lot of you have a lot of questions when it comes to the subject matter. When it comes to the subject matter of um, LinkedIn and how to use it and all of that. And so um, I want you to get your questions ready. We have an expert in the house. Um, El Zoe says, I'm following from Takrade. Awesome. Um, El Zoe says, um, I'm following from Takrade. I want you to copy the link, post on your status, post on your socials. I just shared on my Facebook. I'm just about to share on my Twitter as well. Um, it's already in the main Chokma School page. And I know last month's session was a blessing because I've had like a lot of you reach out to me with amazing feedback and all. And so I know that this man's one will never be, um, will not be an exception. You know, we're all about value. Um, let me just post on Twitter, I'm almost done. And then I could bring in my guest officially. He's so poised for tonight's session. If you haven't shared across, I want you to do that for me for a moment. 
And in case you missed out on last week's session, um, in case you missed out on last week's session, I want you to, um, last month's session, sorry, in case you missed out on last month's session, I want you to take time off and go back and, you know, go listen in on it because last month I took time off to teach you how I personally plan for the year. And I know that um, if you're planning for the year, one of the things that I did say in last month's webinar, I did say for sure that if you're going to have a good year, it simply means that you met good people. If you're going to have a bad year, it simply means that you met bad people, you know. And so one of the things that I'm determined to help you do and leverage this year is that um, how do you leverage LinkedIn, the platform called LinkedIn, to be able to meet amazing people and to be able to meet like very good people, people who are very good people who are solid. And so I'll be bringing my very good brother and friend um, in on the platform and he'll be walking us through how we can leverage LinkedIn and then do in. So I'm just about to um, add him to the live feed so that you, you guys can see him. He's been so ready, like super, super ready. Um, the slides need to be ready. So I am equally ready myself with my notebook and my pen, and then I'm ready to also learn. And if there's one thing that you know about me, I learn from anyone. So um, the person that I'm bringing in is none other than Parkwisi Folson. Um, I just added him to the feed. And so Parkwisi, you're welcome. And for those of you that do not know Parkwisi, um, they call him... <laughs> <laughs> that public speaker, you know. But for me, I think that one of the things that amazes me about Parkwisi, when I came across Parkwisi's page a couple of years ago, he was he was still coming. We're all still coming. We're all still growing in this thing. But the beauty is that um, I remember sharing a couple of I was having a conversation with a couple of friends of mine, and then I said that I think if there's anything at all, the person we're talking about Gen Z, and the person is like Gen Z for only the my Rao they are lost for those of you in the international community who do not understand omaira omaira simply means the gen z people are lost my colleagues in um, kenya will not understand this one but basically um when my friend said that i said no i think that if there's ever been an awakening it's with the gen z folks and with the amount of opportunities that is surrounded by them i still identify as gen z i'm not grown sure but you <laughs> see i saw people that with the amount of opportunity that is um um available for the gen z folks if you get somebody who's caught the light if you've got somebody who's caught the spirit and will make use of the opportunities that are available they'll make tremendous impact in their world and for me i'm super excited to have this amazing young person um doing it big in his industry doing it big in what he does and for me um, there's something that catches me every time i go on his page he calls it the age of the lumen and i call myself or i close my my, my statement always with love and light. And if you're a studio person, you know that lumen means light. And so I'm like, this young man has caught something. And he's such an embodiment of light. He's a light being. He's about to dish out information to you. And there's so many truths that he'll be sharing with you that will light your LinkedIn path or lighten, um, will lighten up your business path. And so I want you to be poised, open up your spirit. I've told you guys that... Um, you need to pay attention to the quality of what you listen to and the disposition of your heart on what you're listening on. And so I want you to be very open, free-spirited, and then listen to this amazing young man as he walks us through um, um, the LinkedIn platform and how you can leverage. A lot of you, I know people who are in top corporate spaces and they don't even know what LinkedIn is about. A friend of mine told me, she's on the webinar. She's joining in all the way from Greece. And I remember she told me, she was like, MBA, me that platform when i open it the more i get confused and so i want you to know that your confusion is about to end because i've brought the light bearer i've brought a teacher to come and teach and so chokma school are all about value parkwisi you're welcome to chokma school i'm super excited to have you on here welcome once again brother thank you thank you thank you Moses. i hope you can hear me amplify your voice just a little bit i, I hope you can hear me i hope this is yes, better I, I for me it's better, better. Guys, can you hear Parkwisi? Please let me know in the chat section, guys. Guys, can you hear Parkwisi? Please let's 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 give the feedback in the feed so that we can know yeah. if okay. okay. 
Somebody says yes. And Nunez says yes. Sure, we can. Awesome. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Great. Okay. So I know. I know we are on now. Thank you. Thank you, Moses, for that wonderful introduction. Um, I'm humbled to be on your platform, Chokma School. I'm actually a part of the Chokma School, guys. So I'm one of you. I've been with you <laughs> since day one. <laughs> and it's been amazing. I mean, since Daniel, since the future is Kwame, and all the other amazing people that have passed to the platform. I mean, Dave Oboda, his session was mad. I, I can't even describe how great it was. I mean, this, especially for me, the second one, that's when I followed the most. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Totally amazing. Okay, Who so is there a part two with you? Who knows? <laughs> Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, for everyone here, I want to say you're welcome. And most importantly, most importantly, I want to say you are privileged to be in this session today. Okay, so I have an, an, orthodox, an orthodox way of starting my presentations every time. And I just want to start with this because it helps me to start on a high flying note okay mm. now everybody who is listening to me all i want you to do is type nonsense in the comment section you will understand it very soon just type it nonsense guys let, let, let's go i want to see it i just you just type it just put it in the comment section you understand it very soon i'll explain myself just put it there just say nonsense okay. <laughs> uh, Fill the place with it. Those who are my those who are my people, they know who, what exactly I'm about to say. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just came back from literally speaking. I couldn't have missed Moses' session for anything, really. I just came back. Okay. I, I dropped I dropped around 7:15 into my house. Say nonsense. Mensa Albert, thank you, Clement. Thank you. Hey, uh -huh. the keys hub. I love I love the fact that you added the exclamation marks. There is the energy I want. <laughs> Hell's always the age nonsense. Uh, nonsense. Nonsense. Give it to them. Nonsense. <laughs> okay, great. Now let me just let me just proceed. Now, how many of us too? Please let me know in the in the comment section. How many of us have heard the saying that knowledge is power? We've all heard it before. I've heard it before multiple times growing up. How many of you? Please let me know in the comment section. I'm building something up the night the night began. All right. Mm. How many of you? Okay, I have Moses is heading. Before. Great. Anybody else? Felix says okay, yes. Felix. Gracie okay. says ben. yes. Says I have. Mm. Okay. Tisel says I have. Had, uh, a keys have. You have to. You have to give you a gift to it. your energy. I like your energy. Oh, keys have. Uh -huh. Sometimes I'm there. I just go through my YouTube comments, then I see somebody go like, "Hey, knowledge, pani." I recently <laughs> found the person behind it. <laughs> Oh, I see. Kisa, yeah, I'm yeah. looking for you too. <laughs> okay, so we, everybody else, some, somebody says several times since basic school. Exactly. Right. Now, even though knowledge is power, and that is what has been, um, that that's what has been popularized over time. I want you to know, and I submit to you, that knowledge is not power. Hmm. Now, I mean, when you look at things from a holistic perspective and you look at the nitty gritty of everything and you look at everything from a magnified perspective, you will know that knowledge is not power. It is the application of knowledge that mm -hmm. brings power. Let me give you a practical example. Now, imagine right now, some of you, <clears throat> for me, one of my major essentials, wherever I go, I carry para. That's one thing about me because sometimes thinking a lot right so i carry power even though they said, they said it's not good to be taking power a lot but I, I carry power a lot on me right now if any of you should have a should have a headache right even if you, you're a pharmacist and you know what para is made up of the knowledge of para how para operates when you take it how it's going to operate in your body and everything the knowledge of even even knowing that para is the right solution is not going to relieve you of the headache exactly it is the application, the taking and the swallowing of the para, that is exactly what knowledge is. Knowledge is like that medicine pill. Until mm -hmm. you decide to take it and allow it to work on you and actually act upon it, it's not going to have the effect that it has. So That's what right. happens is that so many of us, we go to sessions, we go to speaking engagements, we are amazed by the knowledge that is shared, we relish in those moments, and then we don't do anything after what made mm. me different from a lot of people i remember when i came for income impacts influence what made me different from most of the thousands of people there was that when i came there because me personally i don't know if, i don't know if kwame knows i bust four people i said i bust i took four buses 
100 people from Central University all the way to to the event. Personally, wow. single-handedly, no team. I did that. I bought food for people who, were, who said they're hungry. I did everything for them. Wow. Now, all those people that I brought, I was bringing them because I felt that there was something that they needed to hear. However, wow. there are some people who came from all, all the way from Central University. There was so much traffic. It rained that day. I remember clearly. <laughs> it rained that day. <laughs> it rained in the morning. There, there was so much traffic. It was. It took us almost three hours to reach over to reach the place. Now, once we are there, there are some people who came and they left back the same. I did not leave back the same. Everything uh, changed. Today, uh, in in my slides, I'll proceed and show you some of the things that has happened. Now, I want you to know that everything that I'm going to say is completely nonsense. That means uh, that if you don't want to apply what uh, I am about to, the gems. That means that it is nonsense if you don't apply. So I need you to apply. I need you to take everything and I need you to go and apply. Are you ready, guys? If you, if you are ready to apply, type apply or type action or type yes, any of those things. <laughs> of course, it's, wow, Paco, is he performing on the pressure on my brain? <laughs> okay, absolutely. You're already helping me, sir. This session is about to be is about to be life transforming. Trust me. Okay, so today I'm talking about crafting your professional brand, how to leverage LinkedIn for opportunities. Now, not only that, the opportunities that I'm talking about because the topic that Moses gave me was maximizing LinkedIn for business wins, for business wins, for business wins, maximizing LinkedIn for business wins. Mm, I, I like I love the energy so far. I love the energy so far. So maximizing LinkedIn for business wins. Now, I'll what I'll do is that I'll give you a little, I'll, I'll explain some things, then I'll plateau and I'll move on to LinkedIn, what the platform all is about. I'm out to make this session as practical as much as possible. Now, I want you to know from the very start that because I'm a part of Chokma School, I'm, I'm not going to, usually I go to certain places and then sometimes I just don't delve in, in certain waters when it comes to LinkedIn. But this time I'm going to delve deeper. Somebody say deeper. Somebody say deeper. Type type deeper. <laughs> I'm going to go deeper than I, I go on most sessions. Trust me. I, I Last year, I did over 50 keynotes alone. They call me Ghana's greatest Gen Z keynote speaker. That's what Moses, Moses is a millennial. He's no part of us. Moses, Moses is a millennial. He's the last breed of the millennial. <laughs> they call me Ghana's greatest Gen Z keynote speaker. I did over 50 keynotes. I did lots of webinars. But what I'm about to show you, anybody who has been in my session will know that this has not been shown before. Okay? Deeper. Deeper than the faces. I like the energy. Okay, now let me now let me proceed, okay? So how to leverage LinkedIn for opportunities. Now, I have a promise for you, okay? I have a promise for all of you. And then my promise is this. By the end of this session, you will be equipped on how to craft a professional brand that stands, that stands out in today's competitive landscape, maximize your networking opportunities on LinkedIn, attract massive opportunities for your personal brand or business, and you will have, you will have tools and knowledge you need to take yourself to the next level using LinkedIn. This is a promise that I'm pro promising all of you here. I'm going to promise you that, whoa, a minute. Please give me a minute. The devil doesn't want me to have this meeting, eh? Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Having a few challenges here before my, my thing goes off, okay? Now, this is my promise to you guys. I'm leaving you. I'm starting with the promise, okay? I'm starting with a promise. So, by the end of this session, trust me, you will be equipped on how to craft a professional brand that stands out in today's competitive landscape. Yes, we bind the devil in the name of Jesus. Doesn't want me to have the session, and we have to have the session. We have to have the session, okay? So you have the tools and knowledge. You need to take yourself to the next level using LinkedIn. Now, this is what I want to say, all right? First of all, let me start with this. Let me start with this so that people... I know Moses has already introduced me, okay? I know Moses has already introduced me, but let me just give you a brief journey about me, Park we see folks in. Okay, so Moses has already introduced me, but I want you to know my journey. I want you to know why exactly I am the person talking to you today. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so let's, let's go. Now, 
one thing about me is that my sessions are very interactive so i'll be telling you to type a lot of things in the comment section i'll be telling you to do a lot of that so i just want you to get ready for that so let's 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 chill today let's have fun let's do all of that okay great a brief journey about me power Chrissy, folks all right so now you all can see this right so this was me a couple of years back <laughs> as a young speaker I was, I was a moderator so what i was was that i was a moderator i was an mc for a lot of programs especially within my school so when it comes to carol services speech and prize given day this, this, this is many years ago this is many many years ago this is so anything when it comes to speech and prize given day carol service i was the one i love talking and all my friends knew that i i love to speak about issues i was the one who argue about everything i was the one who could do those kind of things so that was me many years ago okay this was me many years ago, and I had that dream. I've all, since a child, I've always wanted to do something with regards to speaking. I thought I was going to be a pastor or something. Maybe I may be a pastor because I know I know for sure that I'm called. Okay, but this is me here doing my speaking on this level. Okay, so this is me. So I'm not I'm not new to speaking at all. Those who don't know me, know, if if you know me, you know that I've started a long time ago, right? So this is me right so you see me and this watch that i'm wearing i borrowed it from somebody i can't remember who but i borrowed it this watch was not mine okay you see me i just wanted to have that package in kk that time Charlie. okay so this was me right now this is me okay in my first year of university as well this is me in my first year of university now this is me with the bandana and everything now you see the reason why i'm wearing all the bandanas and all of that is that before time and before you guys knew me before the world knew Park Chrissy folks, I used to be a rapper in my other life. Right now, if you go and look for my, I won't tell you my music name. We've scraped all the music from musical platforms. <laughs> so I used to be a rapper, right? You see me, this is my band, and I should have added the picture of me in the studio. You see me making music, all of that. I love rap, I love hip hop. It's basically me, it's just me tying that bandana around my head. You see that? Nah, I'm a gangster. That was me, okay? So this, <laughs> this is me, right? Now, at this point in life, I had no particular uh, vision about doing anything about doing anything apart from maybe that's music thing i knew the music thing i was never going to become a professional in it but i was just doing it because i just loved rap right but apart from that i had no bearing no vision whatsoever with regards to how my life was going to progress in a certain way that will allow me to be the type of person that i want i was not my mind i was so lost about certain things guys this was me this was me clueless me i had just started university i didn't know what my life was going to become i thought i was going to do things the normal way and just be like everybody else and have to work for 40 years and do all of that this is me right there this is me like i'm sure i'm doing this journey so that you get to see something i'm painting a picture guys i'm painting a picture so you get to see what is happening
Guys, I think that Parkwesi is having issues with his um, internet. Um, he just he just went off. We're so sorry. He'll be back pretty much soon. He was just walking us through his experience of being a rapper. You know, sometimes it's very important for you to appreciate the journeys of people, where people have come from and where they are headed to, so you can um, um, appreciate. But I'm sure pretty much he'll be joining us very, very soon. He's having um, network issues. But then so far, um, this is also for me to use this as an opportunity to teach you guys something very profound and something very, very insightful. Um, which is document your process. It's very, very important that you document your process. So um, I use, for instance, the Keys Hub lady on our screen that says that don't shake. I believe the network is just a misunderstanding. Now. So the Keys Hub lady, I connected with her on Instagram just a few days ago. She reached out through my DMs and I found out that she's into the production of um, liquid soap and stuff like that. And um, I know that she started off somewhere in the um, earlier introduction. She did say that she was in the University of Ghana. I haven't really had time to speak with her, so I know very little about her. But when you go on her Instagram, Mama Selfless, one of the things that you see a lot on that Instagram page is um, all about liquid soap. She in pictures with liquid soap and all of that. And for me, it's the beauty. The beauty is the fact that at this stage, if she's producing liquid soap as a student in University of Ghana, then it means that she's going through some form of process or she's going through some form of transition to her becoming. And one of the things that I love when I went on her page was I saw pictures of what she does. I saw videos of what she does. One of the things that my very good friend COD usually says is that he says that usually my very good friend COD says that um, when he looks at my life, it looks like I've always known that I was headed somewhere. And so I always have various sections of my life documented and various sections of my life in pictures or in videos. I want to say to you, dear young person listening to me, document your process, document your hustle. It's very, 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 very important. Whatever stage of growth you are in, take pictures of it, take videos of it. It's so beautiful um, um, during the festive season when Sarkodia was doing the Rapaholic, the X, and um, he did an exhibition before the main Rapaholic event. And when he got there, um, when you go there, which is the place where he did the, the um, session, one of the things that was so dominant and one of the things that you could see um, is the fact that he had his first studio mic and everything on there.
to as for today, the the devil that is trying to distort to the, tonight's session, only God knows. My network, my MTN fiber at the office here just like went off like that. So I was trying to teach you guys to document your process and document your hustle. It's very, very important. So that when you begin to um, tell your story and you begin to tell the narrative of where you've come from and where you are getting to, people can really appreciate what you are saying and people can um, really, really get what you mean. I want to find out from um, my brother, Parkwesi, what's happening at his end so that um, I could give you guys solid updates on what's happening. I can tell that a lot of you were poised and were ready to listen in. I'm trying to get back with you back in on the feed. Awesome. Back with you is back. Omar back with you, we can see you, you are live. Kindly add your slides for us. It's like your house people don't want us to be of a blessing to these people today. It's a, it's a serious. Somebody type the devil is a liar. <laughs> just, the the moment, is a liar. just the moment we started seeing um, um, Rapa K forcing on the line. Oh. <laughs> with, your, with your bandana. Somebody said the devil is a liar. Let's type ah, it. The devil is a liar. Yeah, it's well. <laughs> okay. Just when I was just when I was also trying to hold the fort for you, then my fiber just went up just like that. I'm like, hey, that's, what hey. that's what today. That's what Thank today. you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, Thank you guys for waiting. Keith Hub, awesome. McNeil, SL, Richmond. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So we are back. Please share the link. Let people know that we are back. We are about to. I'm a, now that this has happened, I'm about to spot the place. Cry more. Let's, let's, <laughs> that is, let's, let's that go hard as much as possible, right? All right. So let's continue. All right. Let's fly. Okay. Okay. Oh, Moses is gone. Okay. Okay. He's here. I'm right. here. <laughs> I just wanted to give you the feed so that you can just do your presentation. Oh, okay. It won't be bad if you are here too. It's no problem at all. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So, this was me. Then again, guys, this was me. As I was already telling you, I wanted to be a rapper and all of that. So, over here, I had no vision, no purpose, all of that. I remember right now we are talking about how to, I'm, I'm building up a point. Okay. I've told you about my story. Let me just, for people who just joined, right? So, this was me. I used to moderate events, all of that. There was a speaker, right? Not really a speaker, but a moderator, MC, speaking prize giving days, carol service. When carol services, when I was back, way back in school, this was many years ago, okay, many, many years ago with my board watch. I just had to do it for the swag, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I moved to this, okay, so this was me in my, my rap face, okay. I, I said, I won't tell you my music name. You scraped all the music from the DSPs or the platforms, so you can't go and look for me, man, listen to my raps. No, 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 you will not find that at all, okay. So this is me with my bandana tied. I had no over here. I already said no vision, no purpose, just me living life like a lot of people do. You see, the thing there's something called the law of intentionality, and there's something called the law of design. What that means is that the law of intentionality is basically that you have to be intentional about how you progress in your life. There are so many people walking about who are visionless, purposeless, clueless, everything. Okay, you have no sense of purpose about how you go about things, and that is very dangerous because everybody, trust me, there's nobody who has succeeded without being intentional. All most of the people, even people who stick who, who do the lottery, they are intentional about putting those numbers together. Maybe they, they, they all they do is that they hope, but they are they do it with intentionality. Now, there's also something called the law of design. What that means is that you have to strategically design your life. Something called, so I've taught you two laws already and I'm not even started with something called the law of intentionality and the law of design. The law of design states that you have to maximize on strategies. You have to use strategies to maximize your life. You know, this, this is the thing. I'll move on to that probably later. Let me just say it, right? You see, a lot of people, 
live their lives without using strategies. They leave everything haphazardly. So they take an they take they take a haphazard approach to life instead of a strategic approach. Now you see that is the reason why maybe you may see a fraud boy is right, driving a Benz. You do know how much strategy they put into the things that they do talking to the client and getting those emails or whatever they do. I do I have no idea or all their shopping and gift cards or whatever they do. I have no idea, but all those things that they do, it is well thought out. So at least they have a strategic approach. So how about you? Who you that you want to make it legal in the economy? Why are you living your life without strategy? Why are you living your life haphazardly? Why? So this was me without strategy, going with the masses, going with the with the general public, doing everything as the masses do. This was me. Okay. I want to prove a point. I'm, I'm going somewhere. Now, this is me again. You know, one thing about me uh, today, I want to speak. And one thing about me is that I'm never shy of who I was or um, anything. I used, to, I used to be a model, right? I used to be a model. As you see, um, see me wear my, my pearl necklace and everything. I used to do this thing way, way before Black Co and all those people. No, I forget. I used to do it way before them. And I've always been that person. I'm, I'm, I'm all about style, all of that. But this was me. Even though I loved this, I loved doing the modeling. Sometimes I go do some gigs. I get paid for it. And, but you see, life is not always about money. It's not always about um, how people accept you sometimes. It's about how you are achieving what you feel is your purpose. And for me, this was not my purpose. This was not what exactly that I hope that I could use my life for. If I always used to cast my mind into the future and I used to think that, okay, if I was to if I was to be on my sick bed or my dying bed, will I be proud of what I've done? The things that I really want to do is what I'm doing right now, being of impact, using my being 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 a vessel, being a conduit of blessing, being a conduit of high value knowledge that can transform people's lives. Already told you. The application of knowledge is power. So for somebody like me who is a knowledge merchant, these things are important to me. It is more than just me speaking to you. It is more than another speaking engagement. It is more than another accolade. It is more than all of that. This is me fulfilling my passion, doing my purpose, all of that. See me. See me. It's a kiddie product. <laughs> this is me, right? My, my earring and everything. Full gangster, full blown. I wish I could show more of that, but I'll just end. I, I didn't add, want to add more. I'll show you once and um, some other kind of ones. I'll show you lots. I mean, and I wasn't the regular type. I mean, I wasn't just some some four by four photographer. I was on Photo Vogue, like Vogue. Vogue has a subdivision it's called Photo Vogue. I was on, I've been on that already. So I wasn't like some of like we had we had the name too attached to it for real. I mean, people people who know me know. Okay. Now now, with all of that, I decided that, no, I wanted to be somebody of change, somebody who could do things. Now, I'll get back to this in a bit. Now, do you all see this? This is me. Okay, no, let me go. Let me go here. All right. So this is my LinkedIn profile. I took this. I took this in the second week of April 2022. This is me with 205 connections. I don't want to tell the story of how I joined LinkedIn. It's going to be a long thing, but I basically started my LinkedIn, <clears throat> my LinkedIn journey in 2022 only. 2022 only. So this was me in 2022. <clears throat> in 2022, this was me. Um, and this is all my link. This was my LinkedIn page, basically, just with about 205 followers, connections, followers. I'll show you what that is. It's all basically the same thing, basically. So this is me with 205 followers. Let's say followers for those of you who are pr pretty much new to LinkedIn. And by the way, um, okay, I'll do that later. In the, all right. So this is me, guys. This is me. Take a look at me. All right. <laughs> now I'll explain why, and then you you see. So this is me now joining LinkedIn, now trying to figure things out. Now I took this particular screenshot when I had that eureka moment. I had a certain eureka moment that opened my eyes to see exactly how I could maximize LinkedIn, how I could grow, how I could use it to be able to build a brand, leverage it for business, and do other things that will allow me and establish me in the industry and the space that I wanted to be in. So this is me, okay? This is me, and so I'm going. I'm going to show 
I'm going to show you a few things in a bit. So this is me. This is I just started it. Okay, but this was the Eureka moment. So when I took when the Eureka moment came, I said that okay, let me take a screenshot of my page so that one day is going to be a source of inspiration to a lot of people. It's going to be a source of inspiration to people out there to believe that anything is really possible. Okay, so this was me, Parkwisi Fulson, just two hundred and five quid. I want you to look at this picture carefully. Okay, look at look at it carefully. Look at it carefully. Now, with LinkedIn, after that Eureka moment, this is this is just months after, not too long. Okay, this was this was in the beginning of 2023. Right, this is me training an industry leading company. I mean, a lot of you know it. I mean, you you will know Silver Star Towers. You will know Silver Star Towers, especially um, if if you go around um, airport, you see Silver Star. It's a very big building. This is me training the staff of the company. Aside that, I've tr I've trained companies in automobile on in different things. I, I became that speaker that I wanted to be professionally, making money from it, being able to fulfill things. Do you know what it takes? And listen, by the way, I I just want to put it out there that and me for, for a lot of you people who are there, a lot of you may have advanced in whatever you're doing, but speaking is my business for me, right? So now this is me come I know the speaking industry is a type of industry whereby um to be able to get a lot of opportunities, you have to be proving like for a long time, possibly for almost a decade to be able to get certain type of opportunities. But I know that the grace is part, but strategies are also a major part of it. I know I have a grace, I know that I have the grace. I know part that I know that I know that I have the grace. But strategies also were able to take me to this thing. So this is me. And this is not too long after I graduated from the university. This is me training companies. Do you know what it takes to train a company? This is me being there. How did I do some of these things? LinkedIn was some of, was, was some of the things that that allowed me to leverage that allowed me that leverage point to be able to get some of these opportunities also god god brought some of these opportunities to my table but aside that strategies the brand that i was able to build on there all those things allowed me the leverage point i'm building something i'm not just talking i'm not here to um, brag or anything i'm here to build a point okay so i want you to follow i want you to follow okay so this is me yes Moses says he knows silver star towers okay so i want you to focus perfectly because i just finished school and then i came and i was training companies after i trained a lot of companies next within the next few months we'll be doing more and more more and more of the corporate trainings and all of that so i mean this is me doing my thing now all through linkedin now this is me guys this is me again this is something that link you see that's you see i'm not you see there are a lot of people who are on linkedin and all of that who have a lot of followers and all of that but there are some people who are proven i'm one of them i want to tell you right now okay this is me i got a gift from linkedin themselves from sunnyville from their headquarters in sunnyville california while other people are doing nss moses should i drop a bomb or i should no, no okay i'll just i'll just i'll just leave that <laughs> Okay, I'll just leave that, right? So this is me. LinkedIn sends me this. This had some. Hey, I I think I have the cup here. This this cup. I said this cup. I said I'll drink from it. So look at this, guys. This is me. Let me take water even. No, look at it. This this cup is is this cup sat in plane before I got here. I sat in a plane before I got here. Right before I'm drinking. This is from LinkedIn, Sunnyvale, California, their headquarters. California. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it right so look at this so linkedin sent me a gift right this is me happily taking it and this is me linkedin sending me it's like instagram sending you a gift it's like that me it was so big to me right and this was me because i am I'm one of their few certified people okay so um at the, at the time it, it was it, it still means a lot to me. I mean, I always, I always use this. This cap, I always use my cap. Everybody in my house knows that this, this is my cap, right? Now, this is me. Nine months after this, just because I had that eureka moment, I'm going to show you shortly the four major steps that can allow you to build an audience, build all of this. Now, look at me. This is eleven thousand, right? This was nine months after. This is nine months. Yeah, I mean, from April to. Let's say nine months. So this was like around January 2023, or something, I don't know, like February or I don't know, March or I can't remember. This is me. 
Eleven thousand followers. This is LinkedIn. Or this is not just any other place, guys. You know, you can get a lot, but on LinkedIn, things are done more. The the, the type of connections that you have, allow me to say that it ha it holds a little bit more weight than other platforms, right? This is me. Okay, so I, I'm showing you this so that you know that it's powerful and that I I actually took steps to go from here because it's. The reason why I took this screenshot was that it was the Eureka moment. So once I got this, everything changed for me. I'm telling you, everything changed. Then I moved to this. This is me here. Now, not only that, in in the year 2023, I'm just establishing, I'm building my credibility in your eyes. That's what, that's what I'm doing. Now, in 2023, I was one of the only top 10 people in this Ghana here of over 30 million people, right, who were nominated as the LinkedIn Influencer of the Year by Paul's Ghana. This is me here. And I'm sharing the stage here. If you look, this is Anthony Jamife, the CEO of Caveman Watches. This is Anita Esking. This is Kofi Kinata. This is Kofi Anku, a very a real estate mogul. This is Edo Dasare. This is Dixon Hassan. This is Engineer Steve. This is Michael. And this is the founder of Ashesi. And then this is, you guys know him? Do you guys know this person? Yeah, this is Parkway C. Folks, the person in front of you. So I want you to know that you, you literally, I don't know, you literally have the best person talking to you because I'm proving I've already showed you like from LinkedIn, from all of that to getting corporate these type of opportunities because speaking is my business as a person, all right. Now this is Anita asking the other time I met her manager and the manager was like, Oh, she actually she knows me and all of that, and they've been seeing me on LinkedIn. And I'm sure once you're on LinkedIn, you see me, right? So that is basically this. Now I'm I'm building up a point. Now this is me too. Yeah, this is me organizing one of my major workshops at Holiday Inn Hotel. This is me, and I'm just a young person, guys. If you know, I'm Moses will tell you, if you know what it takes to organize these type of events, especially at certain, certain venues, it is a lot. It does not come by, you have to, you have to have some type of weight. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you have to be able to do a lot more things. I'm, I'm building up a point. So just follow me. Just follow the sequence of the story. Okay. Follow the sequence. All right. So this is me at Holiday Inn. Having, this is an event, a workshop organized by me. Last year, Lubosis attended one of my workshops. I did. I We had four major workshops. All of them. Full. All right. So this is me, guys. This is me at Holiday Inn Hotel. Moses will tell you. I remember one of the times I decided that well, I'll love to do what my events. I remember I, I went to speak somewhere at Holiday Inn Hotel. I think it was Futurist Kwame's event. I, I had the opportunity to be around the around the panels. And then I was like, wow, this place is nice. I would love to have all my workshops here. Just by saying that and imagining it and moving, I was able to have it here. And most of these opportunities. Most of the things that we're able to do in terms of getting financing for certain type of things or getting customer customer acquisition and all of that. Exactly, exactly. So Moses is telling you. So look at this, all right? So this is me. So now all of this that I'm showing you, I'm showing you something. I took you through my journey, how I started. Okay, this was me. I didn't know anything. I was clueless. Then I moved to this. Once I got my Eureka moment, it transformed me into this. And then I got this opportunity and this and this and this and all of that, right? Now, before I delve into LinkedIn, today I'm hoping to make it as practical as possible. I don't want to just come and do story here, you know. I want you, this is Moses's, guys, trust me, if, listen, it's cost. It's cost of Moses. I'm doing, I'm, I'm about to do a lot for you guys, guys. So I want you to just, Please, please, please. I want you to take everything that I'm saying, everywhere that I do, everything that I'm doing right now. I just want you to. Yes. Somebody said, imagine how you made waves on LinkedIn in just two years. It's been by grace. More importantly, it's been by strategies. I told you guys something that something at the beginning. There's something called the law of design. What I mean is that in order to maximize your life, you have to create strategies. And that's, that's what I'm about to show you. Right. So now this is this. OK, now I want to talk to you, first of all. I think this is so important before all the LinkedIn things because if you don't get this right, you'll be you'll be a very confused person. Now, 
before before hopping onto LinkedIn in 2021, I had a little incubation period where I cut myself a lot for my friends and I decided to build on my own. I built myself and I built capacity. I was learning new skills, number one. I was learning about the industry of public speaking. I was learning so many things. I was improving the way I spoke. I was um, trying new leadership opportunities, building my leadership skill. I was reading more books than ever. Trust me, I was building myself. I was building myself. Okay, I was doing everything possible to build myself. Now, within that period, this was this was in 2021. From that period onwards, right, I was building myself consciously, intentionally. I told you about the law of intentionality. Now, once I hopped on the LinkedIn platform, I already decided to to envision what a future will look like for me and what are some of the things that I want to do. I remember watching TEDx videos every day. I mean, I'll watch Sam Goodell. I mean, a lot of people, especially young Ghanaians who were doing massive things. I mean, I was still you know, following Moses and all of that. The other time, I think when I met Moses, I was asking him, I told him that, see, I've, I went all the way to his Instagram page, the last thing, read every caption, how, how he started following the journey. For me, one thing about me is that, you know the reason why I showed you this, all of that? One thing about me is that I don't love to see the end result. Some of you may see me like this. I'm speaking every year. As I told you, I just came from a speaking engagement, literally. Okay, last year I did over 50 keynotes. This year we've already done over 10. We are doing, we'll do over 10 by by like March. March we've passed by 15, right? Now we are doing a lot. We are doing a lot in this game. But it's not just about that, it's about the process. For me, so that's why when I saw Moses, when I first discovered Moses, I, I went down to his page to order to see the process that made him hit this. That's what I do for everybody. If I find somebody, I'll I'll scroll. If and it does not matter how long it will take me, I'll find out to the nitty gritty from Tony Robbins to anybody. I'll I want to find out. I'll read about you. I will Google you. I will track down everything because I want to understand the process. Because if I can understand the process, I can be able to have that outcome to as well. There's something called the law of cause and effect. What that simply means is that for for there's there's a, there's a cause behind every effect that you see. That means that you see. For example, when you see rain, that means that there were gathered clouds. If you see, if you see, if you see, if you see smoke, that means that, you, that means that there's fire somewhere, or fire was sparked somewhere. That it is always about the cause. So if you can understand the cause, you will be able to produce that effect and more. I'm, I'm, I'm helping you understand something. Okay. So now I had to build myself I, I went through that personal development period okay of intense let me put it that way intense personal development was an incubation period i do i was almost off internet they call that thing monk mode sometimes but i i was on because i had to do a few things but i was basically not really accessible okay and i think that period changed my life now during that time i i, I was able to structure my vision so i want to talk to you briefly about the place of vision now the word vision comes from a latin word known as visionem I'm building something, please and please. I like the I like the comments. I like the fact that I'm seeing the comments. Moses, your people are just wonderful. Now, there's something. There's there's something. Now, I said the word vision comes from a Latin word known as visionem. Now, one thing about me is that people who come to my events, they know that I'm an etymology enthusiast. What is etymology? Etymology etymology is basically the study of the origin of words and all of that. So I'm that type of person. And I'll come and tell you this word came from this. Da da da. I love that. I've been I've been doing etymology since 2018. I've been thinking about it and ma mastering and learning root words and the Latin and the Greek. So I'm, I'm that person. And anybody who comes to my sessions, you, if you don't hear that thing, then maybe I was not the one speaking. Maybe it was my clone. <laughs> but if it was me, I'll break something down, right? Now, vision, the word vision comes from the Latin word known as visionem. Now, visionem actually means in the Latin word, in the context, in its original meaning, it means sight beyond sight. Now, what does that mean? That means that a lot of you can see me right now through your your screens, wherever, wherever you, you may be watching me from, no matter whether you are in another part of the world or you're in Ghana, where I don't, it doesn't matter where you are, you can see me right now and you can see something right now, right? So that is the present, that is your normal sight, that is your present moment awareness, exactly, the root meaning of words, etymology, thank you, Emmanuel. So that is the present moment awareness, but visionem means sight beyond sight that means that you can have a sight that is beyond your present moment awareness 
That is what vision name is. So that is why it is so important to have a vision. Because I remember in on on twenty on the twenty eighth of August, nineteen sixty three. I wasn't there, but I've watched it so many times. Martin Luther King gave a speech. He called that I have a dream speech. Now he was there. The man was speaking to a lot of people. Now, I want you to listen carefully. The man was speaking to a lot of people, over thousands of people. If you've not watched that interview, that speech, I don't know. You have to go watch it. Now, Martin Luther King was speaking to thousands of people. I know a lot of you have heard it before. Now, he was speaking to a lot of people. Now, he was saying, I have a dream, but he was not asleep. How can a man be awake talking to people, to thousands of people, tens of thousands of people even. And he was awake standing and then he was talking to them, but he was not asleep and he said he has a dream. Isn't two people who sleep who have dreams? The man said, I have a dream. What was he talking about? He was talking about the sight beyond the sight. He was talking about visionem. Visionem is that thing, your sight beyond your sight. Now, the thing about visionem is that visionem or vision is the avenue by which you can live in the future. Somebody should write that down. Please write that down. Vision is the avenue by which we can live or transcend into the future. Vision. Now, the good thing about vision, I'm building something. The good thing about vision is that once you transcend into a future realm, you in the you can backtrack into the present or come back into the reality and ensure that you are aligning yourself to the vision that you have trans transcended into by setting and structuring your vision. So you can so once you have a vision, then it allows you to now align yourself to a vision. So people who do not have a vision have nowhere to go. I always say this, and somebody should write this down. Please, somebody should write what I'm about to say now. The scope of your success is dependent on the scope of your vision. I can feel the anointing flowing right now. Somebody should type that down. The scope of your success is dependent on the scope of your vision. That means that if your success is small, that means your vision was small. If your success is big, your vision is big. You can only, let's say, you, you, your, the level of your vision is the level by the level is the highest level that you can get to. If your vision is making 10,000 CDs, you will never make more than 10,000 CDs. I don't care what you do. I don't care how many side hustles you have. You will never make it. Never make more than 10,000 CDs. That is, that is life. That is life. Okay, now let me let me not let me not go too deep. I'm, I'm a personal development coach. I do these kind of things. Um, that's why I love when Moses shares his stuff on the on the on his channel. Like I love I love I love things to do with vision, all of that, the personal development things. It's like it, it just it, it gives me goosebumps. Trust me. <laughs> so I love I love talking about that. So for me, I can I can go all day about vision. Let me let me say this thing about vision quickly before I leave. Now the difference between people who succeed, you see, the thing is that you know, when we talk about vision, 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 we go to places and they say, have a vision, have a vision. It's not just about having a vision. It's not just about constructing a vision. The mere construction of a vision is not what is going to take you to where you want to be. You know what is going to take you to where you want to be. It is something called consciousness. It's the consciousness of the vision. The word consciousness comes from a Latin word known as conceive. <sighs> I'll take my time. So that means that when you are conscious, is your vision can only manifest or can only come into fruition when you are conscious of the vision. Your vision can only come into fruition when you are conscious of it. Now, now, what what I'm trying to say is this, and I want you to also write this down. Me ask me one thing about me is that I have a lot of quotes. I want you to say I want you to write this down. The totality of your reality is a product of your consciousness. The totality of your reality is a product of your consciousness. See, I'm not I'm not the ordinary this thing speaker, guys. I'll give you, I'll give you. There are some people who just talk, talk, talk. Me, I'll, I'll give you the gems. Well, I'm a gem provider. <laughs> All right. Somebody should write that down to see that in the com in the comment section. The totality of your reality is a product of your consciousness. That means that if you want something in your life to really crystallize, if you want to see your vision crystallize and come into fruition, you need to be conscious of it. Consciousness is what will allow your visions to emanate. You see, when you're conscious of something, what happens is that, you know, the word consider I was talking about, it was used in the context in that time to mean believing 
you you yeah it, it was that believing so deep in something or carrying something so deeply that it is like it's almost like your soul your spirit and your body are, are, are like in alignment with that type of mentality that you have so consciousness here yeah, it is it is it is something that transcend that is something that holds your tripartite being together <sighs> okay i don't if i go deep out now this though let's maybe this one most is one of your top i think that you have come to do it one of your toes you have to you have to get me on let me teach them about vision okay now let's move don't on worry. Feel, feel free to teach we can always do parts to teach <laughs> no, <let> me... <laughs> all right all right let me let me move on anyway let me just move on quickly all right now i want to go into hard ta hard ta tactics very soon so i want to say this you are a media company somebody type that i am a media company i want you to type that i am a media company ah, i like the way that way has personalized this the totality of my reality is a product of my consciousness wow i like the way you've personalized it listen Okay, so I want to say that you are a media company. Please type it. Say I am a me. I want to see a lot of people. I am a media company. You are a media company. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm establishing these things, and then we're just going straight into the hard tough, the, the hard tactics and tactics and everything that has to do with that. Okay, so let's 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 take it slowly, right? I'm building something. I want to. I want you. I need to understand certain things. So also with the vision, let me just say this um, before before I move. You, you, as I already, as I already said, it's important to construct your vision. However, people who really succeed don't just construct visions; they, they are conscious of the vision. What I do to be conscious of my vision is that every day I open my book. I have a certain book. Anybody who knows me, I carry, I carry books, especially my diaries, and then I flip through them and I look through my goals. That is how some of the things that I mean I showed you, me doing corporate trainings, me having my events at holiday. I, I last year I had four workshops. I, I, I had a flagship conference. Um, we are doing all of these things. We're starting businesses. We, we starting companies. All of that is because I was so conscious of the vision that it just began to naturally flow through me. It just began to naturally emanate. So consciousness is what makes people great. I'm telling you, anybody, anybody, listen, any anybody who has never listen, there's nobody who was not conscious of that vision. Nobody and everybody was successful. I mean, if you take a look at somebody like. Michael Jordan. He was so conscious of the vision that after they are, they, are, they are done training, he will go back and go and train. It is only consciousness of the vision that will keep you in that state of awareness that, oh, I have to go back and go and do something about it. That's the only thing that can keep you. So you see, there's no point at the beginning to go and st start to go and make their goals, their resolutions. Listen, if you don't never, if you don't develop consciousness, you not get there. How do you develop consciousness? You have to be one with your goals. That means that how do you do that? You can do that through meditation sometimes. Now you have to use the power of visualization. You have to use the power of aff affirmation. Meditation, visualization, affirmation. Those are the three things. Meditation, visualization, or let me just, let me say, let me put in this order. Visualization, meditation, affirmation. Somebody should write that down. Visualization, meditation, affirmation. You visualize it, you meditate on it, you keep saying it. I think I have to I have to cool down and then I move on. Somebody I want to see somebody type that the visualization so that people people who 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 watch even after will be will be able to see it. Okay. Visualization, meditation, affirmation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let me move on. All right. Now, as I said, you are a media company. Now, this is what I mean. Let me take you back into the day. Now, when it comes to media, there are two major dispensations of media. There, the 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 worst, or let me say, there is the mass media, and there is something called the new media. So we have new media, we have the mass media. Now, the mass media had two particular eras. It had the print media and it had the broadcasting media. Now, the print media is all, all the things that had to do with newspapers and books and all of that. Then we moved into broadcast with the radio and the television and all of that. But then 
it got to a, a certain point in time we moved and we we, we 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 transitioned into the new media whereby there was the evolution and the rise of the internet from there the internet was just before i mean the internet was existed before social media existed that social me social media was built on top of the internet technology so there could have never been social media without in the internet itself laying the foundation all right so the, the it was the internet and then social media now the word personal branding okay i'm out to build something i always love to talk about personal brand. now personal a lot of people when we talk about personal branding okay because remember i said i'm going to teach you how to teach you how to build a brand you leverage the brand on linkedin then you build the opportunity and you get the business wins and all of that so i want you I want to build something okay now when you're trying to build a personal brand a lot of people get personal brand wrong they think once you see now right now the the word personal brand has is so synonymous with social media so much that people often mistaking personal branding to be solely about social media social media is a major part of building your personal brand however it's not it's not a sole thing when it comes to building your personal brand why am i saying that why because in the early 90s way before the term personal brand and um, i mean existed one and to 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 be synonymous with social media it was used in the early 90s so and the early 90s was before the social media era so what was the context or what they mean by personal branding because that, that word was coined in the early 90s some people say tom peters coined it i don't know who exactly coined but they, they have different people they attribute to so many different people but personal branding was used in the early 90s so if they used in the early 90s before the social media era what exactly did they mean First of all, I want you to know so personal branding is not about media even at all. It's not about mass media. It's not about social media. Personal branding, please write this down. It is projecting your genuine self to create a specific impression of, of you in the minds of others. I'm building something out. Once after I'm done from this, we'll just move into the hard stuff. I'll, I'll, share, I'll share one more story and then we'll move into the hard stuff. Okay. All right, so it's not just about you, it's about others. The type of impression you have on others counts. Because listen, anybody, listen, every company there that does branding is doing it because they want an effect on the market. Nobody is just going to brand if it's not going to do any change on something, or it's not going to impact the market as well, it's not going to differentiate you. No, nobody's going to, nobody is going to use branding. In fact, that word brand comes from a proto Germanic word. It comes from a proto-Germanic word known as brand, B-R-A-N-D-R. What does that word mean, brand? It meant, in and that, that proto-Germanic word was used in even the 14th and the 15th century. That word, B-R-A-N-D-R, meant to burn. Now, if you use the word to burn, what are we talking about? To burn, to burn what? To burn what exactly? Now, in the 14th, 15th century, a lot of the people had cattle. Now, for example, if I want to differentiate Moses's cattle from Parkwisi Bolson's cattle, how am I going to do that? So they used to burn things on the on the haunt of the cattle. They used to burn things on the haunt of the cattle. All right, so that you can differentiate that. Okay, so maybe that's the if they write MBA. You see how Moses logo is? They write MBA, and it means my logo is here. And then me too, I try to inscribe. Let's imagine that I try to also inscribe my, my name or my logo on there. Now, once I do it there, anybody who sees Moses's go to know that this is this is for Moses. This is for Moses. Anybody who sees my go to know that this is my goods because of what I've inscribed on it. So that was used so that you can differentiate things. I'm 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 open, I'm about to expand your mind, so that's why I'm doing all of this, right? So, branding allows you to differentiate yourself in the market, so that you could have an an effect on others, so that people will see you differently, and then they can always move to you. Okay, so that is the that is the re, the the core essential of building a brand. Now, what do I mean by you are a media company? Now, ever since all of that, now in the mass media, if you want to do something, you want you want to publicize something of yours you have to go to the radio station maybe you have to beg somebody or you have to pay most of them you pay newspapers you pay with all those things you have to do something you pay but social media has given each and every one of us a platform now now with the platform we we can try and find a way to grow our audience i mean tvs even have audiences that's why they show all of those nice things on tv and newspapers and all of that those things are, are content on their media comp on their media outlets or spaces to get people into their space 
Do you understand the thing? So if I say you are a media company, what I'm trying to say is that social media has now given you the platform as a user to be able to now be your own media company where you can publicize things and you can monetize it. Because media stations in the mass media used to, they monetize it. So why is that you now have a social media page now that you've been, because it's social media, you will put on there, you're not just a user, you are part of the people, you are you are, you are a media company because now you have the platform for yourself, you have your password, you have all of that. So it is more like, it's more or less, even though it's not really for you. I mean, I can explain something called digital real estate some other time, but basically it's not really for, but it's for you. Okay, I'll just put it like that. So you are a media company. I don't want to go so much into the intricacies for now. So you are a media company, all right? Now, if you are a media company, that means that you have to start thinking like a business person. How can I monetize my space? You see, so once you start thinking like you're a media company, because companies are always there, most companies are there for profit, all right? So once you start thinking that you're a media company, everything changes mentally. So I want you to understand that because we are talking about talk about business and how to use leverage LinkedIn. So once you understand that you are a media company, everything changes. Now, let me move on quickly. Great. Now, let me say this quickly. <laughs> Somebody, now I want to say that if you are here, you are privileged to be here. I'm telling you. Listen, this, like your things are about to change with LinkedIn for you, all right? How many of you are on LinkedIn? Please let me know in the comment section. If you're on LinkedIn, say, I, if you haven't downloaded LinkedIn, say, I just downloaded it. Okay, so I'm about I'm about I'm about to do some stuff right now. Okay, we're about to we are entry, we're about to enter inside the thing now. We're about to enter. We are about to enter. Mm. Usually, sometimes when I go speak, I don't I don't love to use slides sometimes, or I just love to flow with the anointing. Right? I'm privileged to be here. Okay, so hello, sir. I am on LinkedIn. I I okay, man, sir. Echo Kwanza. I want to see as many people as much as possible. If you're here, um, just let me know. Okay. Absolutely, he said I am. All right. I'm okay. If you're on LinkedIn, please let me know if you're on LinkedIn. Please let me know if you're on LinkedIn. To everybody, yeah, I want, I want to, I want to see something, all right. So please let me know. It doesn't matter where you are. Just put I. And just let me know if you're here, if you're on LinkedIn. If you're not on LinkedIn, to just say I want to know where exactly to hit the angle from. Because if, 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 if I find that a lot of us are beginners, then I, I know where to start from, all right. Even though I've pretty much fixed what I'm about to speak. Okay, so as I was saying, you people are privileged to be here. <laughs> Listen, the other time I had a session, that's why I added this to my thing. I added this this part last minute. <laughs> last minute and I added this to my side. Yeah, I don't even know why I showed her name, but it's fine. <laughs> she was like, hi, I'm Yayera. I couldn't attend your webinar with Discipline and Associates. I had a very big webinar. Like it was it was it was very big. Some people invited me. We had over 800 registrants in three days for a, a new event. They had they, they had built no community. It was hey i don't even know how they did it. it was crazy we had the the session they had so many people on it that it was easy like i was just there, I was like hey only three days of just putting everything together the way i don't know how they went about it, it was it was impressive i was really impressed and then she said that i studied some people who attended and all of them have now thousand connections plus and most of them were new to linkedin they just started growing boom People said that there are some people who have even started getting some gigs and internship opportunities. Most of them were very young people. All right. So I want you to know that once you're here, you're about to change the whole game for you. Moses brought the best person. I already showed you why I'm the best person. I mean, with all of this, let me backtrack so that you know who is talking to you briefly. This guy. It's this guy, right? It's this guy. It's this guy. Now, before I start, let me talk about something that I love to show. I've never showed this anywhere before. It is coming. It, this this story is actually in my is one of my my new ebooks. It's called the LinkedIn Cash Formulas. That book that book um I've that book is finished, but I just don't know whether that type of information should be put out there. And I I'm I'm wondering how much to price it because people can just start making money from that thing. Now, I I have this thing. I actually it's called I call it the one hundred and fifty thousand dollar story. <laughs> this is the hundred and fifty thousand dollar story. Now, this is me. I was just there. Uh, I had a message from somebody on LinkedIn. 
this is why LinkedIn is the best place. So I'm not just somebody who has not used LinkedIn. I'm, I'm telling you, I know what I'm telling you. If I, I don't want to show you more messages, I'm telling you a lot of people that you see, or, uh, I don't know, I want the people who has actually like really utilize LinkedIn to do a lot of things, all right? Now, this is something I call the $150,000 story. Now, somebody came to me and said, hi, I'm looking for an, an advertising expert because, you know, my LinkedIn profile is optimized in a certain way that I attract, I attract these type of leads almost every time. Now, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So I was like, he, she was like, she was, she's using, I've covered the name, everything. So you will harass the person. <laughs> so I'm looking for an advertising expert to develop products on the Facebook platform. Um, our current budget is hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars. I was like, hey, Charlie, this money, dear. This is this is the same money, like in Ghana. If I change this, like me and <laughs> if I change this money, like me and this part will be having dinner tomorrow. Seriously, like. I mean, this was their budgets for the ad. It was not to me personally, but I mean, even if let's say I say, okay, if I do this amount and I, I'm able to give you about 10% of this amount of money, how much, like it would be a lot of money for me. Okay. A lot of money, especially when all your money, exactly. Ekokwasa said all your money, <laughs> right? So this is a lot. Okay. Now these are type of, uh, and this is just LinkedIn being LinkedIn's natural self. LinkedIn has a lot of people, a lot of people who are looking for people um, with burning, people have burning, burning problems and they, they are looking for people who have the solutions for it. So if you can, if you know how to position yourself on LinkedIn, you'll be able to attract it, attract opportunities on LinkedIn and you'll be able to maximize it for business wins, okay? Now, the reason why I call this a $150,000 story is that, let me break your heart, I lost the deal. So I lost the deal. I lost the deal. First, I didn't even believe that this was real because sometimes people can mess up on LinkedIn. There are a few fosters and stuff. But I I, I checked that she, the, she attached a few relevant links. And we had a discussion and all of that. And I checked the products out. I checked the company out on Facebook, on Instagram. I was like, whoa, this is like crazy. But I ended up losing the deal. Story for another time. The $150,000 story. But it's all about basically how you can it's, it's all about the onboarding process okay on how and i mean since then i've learned so much i've learned so much on how to do certain things and this was a very painful experience for me i was like charlie this could have charlie by now dear i'll be moving in some two benzes amg big flex <laughs> right but however i lost it right now it allowed me to understand something okay so i call it the reason why a lot of people are not able to maximize LinkedIn for, for, for business purposes is because of something that I call the BTC infliction. Now, the B is for branding. Now, when I mean branding, I'm not just, I'm talking about branding in terms of positioning. How you can position your LinkedIn, your LinkedIn account, your LinkedIn presence in order to attract those opportunities. So there are some people who have bad positioning, so they can't even attract the, the opportunities. So they are not even in the, they are not even people that can be considered for setting opportunities. Number, the T is for traffic. There are some people who have low visibility. You don't have enough, listen, on, even though sometimes followers and stuff are not enough, but the higher the visibility, the higher your chances of getting more opportunities on LinkedIn. So the T is for traffic. The C is for conversion. Now, this is something, this is a lead that came in. I was not able to convert this into a sale. Why? Because my onboarding process was bad. And this, this is what I, I, it helped me understand certain things. And then that's, this, this is what I'm about to show you, right? I'm about to show you some stuff. So this, trust me, see, nobody has seen this story before. Nobody, not even one person. This was supposed to be hidden inside my book for people to see it. But because of Moses, I brought the story out. I, Ask anybody, ask anybody, maybe Richmond, I, I saw Richmond here. Richmond will tell you, I've, I present to so many places and he comes a lot for my programs. I've never said this anywhere before, $150,000. Today, I presented and then I, 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 I never, I've never told this story out there before. Most of my friends don't even know this. And a $150,000 story, this is real. Okay, Moses is a prophet, if I'm lying. <laughs> All right, now I want to show you this, okay? The Please, I beg ultimate you. I'm a yes. growing believer. I beg you in the name of God. I'm a growing believer. <laughs> oh, Junior. Junior. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to show you guys the four ultimate steps 
to leveraging LinkedIn opportunities or leveraging LinkedIn for opportunities. I wish I had brought Moses's book. It's just lying here on my shelf. Moses, like in the book, he talked about leverage. If you don't have the seven universal currencies, you have to go get that book. I don't know. You have to do everything to get that book. I was privileged to be at the lunch. I couldn't have missed it for anything. That day was a very tough day for me. I still made this day. <laughs> if I tell you what happened that day, you guys won't believe it. A lot of things happened, but I still made it to that program. And still, that, money, that, day, I, that day, I lost a lot of resources in terms of money, doing some things. A lot too, some more than what you can imagine. So I still decided to come to the program. I still try to get a book. Right? You have to go get that book. Okay. I'm just saying Moses has not asked me to sell his book or anything, but I'm just telling you out of reading the book and getting insights from it. Go get that book, the seven universal currencies. All right. Now, now he talked about leverage in the book. Right, he talked about leverage, it's inside that book. So, if you don't have not read it, go read it and understand leverage in its totality and its and in its entirety. Okay, so you are trying to leverage LinkedIn. Okay, so LinkedIn is the platform. I always say social media is the amplifier of the value that you already have. If you want to social easy, so social media only amplifies who you are as a person and the value that you, you possess. All right, so if you want LinkedIn has is the platform okay and you are just coming you are bringing your value to the platform so that you could extract the existing opportunities that exist on the platform and then you move out from there all right now i want to show you the four ultimate steps the four ultimate steps to leverage a for opportunities if you are ready as i am say yes type yes type yes the four ultimate steps type yes if you are ready to learn it, say I am. Type yes if you are ready as I am. Okay. Type yes. The four ultimate steps. I'll be waiting for more people. I, I, I always love to see the engagement. The four ultimate steps. I told you this. This is Moses's thing. I've already told you about the hundred fifty thousand dollars story. I was really contemplating, but I knew that was Moses, so I just had to share that story. So I, I shared the BTC. So that, that thing is inside the book. The, the LinkedIn cash from that part is in the is in the chapter one. Okay, I, that book it will, I have to release it. I've been talking about this book for a long time. One time I'll just decide to release it, but I have to put structures in place so that a lot of people can benefit from the book. I'm telling you what I'm saying. If if you get that book, you never you will be making money on LinkedIn every time. Like, all right? Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Okay. The four ultimate steps leveraging LinkedIn for opportunities. Number one. So this this one is the light is the light one. This is the light one. Now, okay. Now, now that I'm I'm doing this, now I want you to know the platform. So this, I'm going to go deep now. Now this is going to be the hard. You no, know, I need you to know the platform. A lot of people don't really know the the platform LinkedIn. Okay. So I'll just show you a general thing. But when I mean know the platform, I'm not just talking about the features. I'm talking about features and the algorithm. LinkedIn. You see, the thing about this is that you see social media. Every social media has its own thing. For example, if I come on TikTok, what works on LinkedIn may not does not or not necessarily work on TikTok. Unless maybe you you created you created the content with a general approach in mind. So LinkedIn has to be you have to treat LinkedIn differently. Know the platform, know the platform, not not the flash the platform. Okay, so it is you have to understand the platform for what it is. That is where a lot of people get to wrong. You have to know the platform. So for example, what, and for me, so what I did was that when when I joined LinkedIn. I, I don't make a post on LinkedIn until a month after. Exactly. I, I made I made a post. No, no. I'll say, let's say two or three weeks after because I made my first post on my birthday, 23rd April. What is the night? April months, right? So I made I made it on, on my birthday. I'm telling you my birthday so that you buy me something. Okay. Right? You, buy, you, you look for a gift. I'm coming to give you a lot of value. You look for a gift and come and give to me. Usually, oh, if this was an in-person meeting, I would have given, I love to give gifts. Today, I have given books out to people, that put to giving them money and all of that. So, maybe today I may decide to do something, who knows? Um, okay, okay. 
all right so know the platform guys know the platform you have to know the platform know the platform for what it is now you see a lot of people don't really understand what LinkedIn is they treat LinkedIn just like every other platform and if you do that and if you do that you will just be very confused about certain things now this is the way LinkedIn works okay you have to understand the algorithm how it works what what it will, it will take to do certain things now one thing that happens on LinkedIn for example is that if you put a link on one post let's say yeah yeah say okay let's join this event event and let's join this event and then you say here's the link and you put the link in your post i mean sometimes depending on certain things it is going to it can get viral but sometimes and you know, majority of the time 90 percent of the time those links will make your post heavy to the extent that you you get low reach by putting a link in the post if you want to get somebody to click your link put it in the comment section i've given you a free gem already put in the comment section of your linkedin post it is likely your post will now get more reach why because once you put, linkedin doesn't want people to necessarily leave the platform they are trying i mean every app will try to get people to use their their platform as much as possible like you be using the thing because the more you use it the more money they make the more they get to have all the activities the analytics all of that it, it works for them they, they, get, they can get to say that okay they were at the end of the year they were fifty thousand and uh, active users what um, i mean they are more right now linkedin has over a billion members now so the algorithm is very now this is just that was just one little thing about the algorithm and how it, like it literally operates when it comes to links and hyperlinks because hyperlinks make posts heavy sometimes so if you put in your comment section you've now just uh, lightened it so even for this event when i shared it i put it in my comment section i do not put the link on the, the, on, the on the post and casa that's how it is okay so you have to know the platform certain things you know, so i see some people who do just post across board let's say if they make a post on 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 facebook instagram all of that it comes all around but if you treat linkedin like that you may not grow you just be stuck linkedin is a different platform altogether you have to understand it and use it for the way it is so for me until i made my first post i looked at everybody at first i looked at all the top people what were they doing and i realized some particular trends now once i realized those trends i began to understand i began to understand how the algorithm worked for myself because i was very enthused about the platform i was very enthused i mean this was me now and i should already showed you when the eureka moment came already as so i've already showed you that now know the platform okay now i want to teach you something briefly and i won't keep long on this even though i uh, okay I, I love teaching this stuff i teach in my public speaking master classes i have i have advanced sessions okay now this is called now it's something made by aristotle who is the father of public speaking now in the early days we made something for for on how people could persuade people it's called ethos pathos logos now ethos is for credibility how can you build credibility Okay, so that is what I was doing in the beginning. I was building my credibility. So now you know that it's not just a regular person talking to you. It's a qualified person that's talking to you in order to allow you to maximize your LinkedIn pre presence. It's not everybody that's qualified. It's not everybody that you see who has a lot of um, followers that has a lot of opportunities that I have or that I've gotten using LinkedIn. Trust me, these are I just didn't want to show some other things. But if I decided to show a lot more things, uh, you, you'll be genuinely surprised, I'm telling you. Now, ethos, pathos, logos. Now, logos is the logic pathos is emotion now what am, what am i saying all this when you are building on linkedin always have this in mind know that you are trying to build credibility so when you're, I'm, you're going to i'm going to tie this to profile optimization you have to be able to also get people to move emotionally and then you have to give them a logical reason for doing something i, I won't keep too long on this because this is just by the way i just decided to add this to last minute so these were the two things i added last minute this ethos part was thing and then this uh, no no and then this this part right now i have that down okay now i'm going to teach you i'm going to go into the linkedin platform itself okay so as i've already said you know the platform the features in this algorithm and um, probably i'll share i'll share an algorithm report that i had some time ago i'll share it with you guys so you can get to understand i mean the algorithm changes from time to time so you always have to keep updated with it and understand it fully but i'll, I'll do that okay so now i want to show you the linkedin profile i want to show you how to optimize your linkedin profile now a lot of people i'm sure how many of you are over here have had optimize your profile on linkedin or linkedin profile optimization how many of you 
how many of you how many of you if you if you've had it or you've heard about linkedin profile optimization let me know i want to i want to, I want to make a I want to make a quick point please let me know hurry up please guys okay okay albert mensa says he has now for me i don't teach basic things never ever it's against my calling as a public speaker to walk on any stage and then just and just and just go and give spew out basic knowledge it will never be me me back with you folks i'll always be more than the ordinary i always do more than the more than the average person so when i go speak on place i i when i go and speak at a place i take it i i i i i let it consume me like it's everything i take it seriously when I prepared, what Moses told me about this thing, I prepared almost, this is a new thing. This, this is not any recycled thing. This is a new thing I made specifically for Chokma School, a new presentation. I'm telling you, I have a lot of presentations I could have just picked. I made this one particularly for Moses. That is how much I honor Moses and respect him for who he is. I remember the first time I, I, I met Moses. I, like, Moses was just so humble and nice to me for no reason. I didn't even know, he didn't even know who I was. I, 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 at this time, I was not even the public speaker that I am today. I'm not, I was not the person training companies. I was not the person doing all of these things. I was not the person who did over 50 keynotes in a year, organizing workshops. Or, no, I was none of that. I didn't, I, I was none of that. He just showed me so much love for no reason, right? And I, I met him, and that time he had, he had twisted his head. Right now, he has cut his head, but he had twisted his head, and then he shook me and all of that. He asked me a few questions, and we just moved on. Then the second time I met him, I started, ah, so I asked him, I asked him, I don't know if he remembers, this was a UPS, it was a 40 streams call. I was like, ah, why are you like that? Like, what how are you so down to F? I asked him, like, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was just genuinely wild. I don't know if he remembers. I don't know if Moses you remember. If you remember, just let me know. I asked him because I was just I was just like, wow. It was amazing for me. I think that time Pell, one Pell, Pell was sitting or standing next to us. I remember clearly. I remember that scenario. <laughs> okay, now let me move on okay so i'm going i'm not going to show you just normal linkedin profile optimization if it was just normal linkedin profile optimization i will not be over here teaching i will just give you i have an ebook on this i can just drop that ebook for you but i want to do it myself i want to teach you something that i call the hclp style in other words i'm going to teach you how to make your linkedin page a landing page somebody type that down how to make your LinkedIn page a landing page? This I'm I've never I don't teach this 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 is this is <laughs> guys. How to make your LinkedIn page a landing page? Now the reason why I call it now the HCLP is not just a word. It is high converting landing page. You see, there's a difference between a landing page. How many of you know what a landing page is? Okay, so type it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to turn your LinkedIn page into a landing page. LinkedIn page into a landing page. If you know what a landing page is, please type it over here. Nana, can we wrap up with this particular side where you're going to teach how to um, turn the LinkedIn page into a landing page? Maybe like in the next, you know, 10, 15 minutes, then we can take questions then we wrap it up for tonight and then we do part two next month okay okay that's fine that's because fine. i see i see that you have so much to share if we give you one session <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot to share there's a lot yes. to share it won't suffice it won't suffice okay. and by the way i like your logo up there in the in the in the slides thank you thank you thank you <laughs> carry on thank you yeah. okay so it's something called how many of you know a landing page? If you know a landing page, oh, Keith Hub is crying. Eh? <laughs> You're about to consume a lot today. But so, yeah, basically, so then this, this is the high converted landing page. Now, listen, is it, it's true? Because to be honest, if, if I want to continue and I want to make it practical, I don't, it, if for some way I could just come and tell you theory, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. No, no, it's not about that. I want to open LinkedIn, my LinkedIn, my personal LinkedIn for you so you get to see all of that um so okay please let me know if you can see my screen all right this is my linkedin page on my laptop uh this is my linkedin page on my laptop please let me know if you can see my screen
Some, most of your people are saying they want to close at 12. <laughs> From the stream here, Pakwesi, we've done an hour and 37 minutes. Mm -hmm. Usually for Tokma school, we do like one hour 30 minutes, but Whoa. we have about we've done about one hour 38 minutes. So let's do two hours for today so that you can be able to drive your points home some more. Then next week we come back. We go into it some more practicals and um, i said next week sorry next month next we month. come back we go into it we pick a date that will be favorable we do some more practical sessions and all and then we wrap it up for linkedin for this for this particular year so um you have about 22 more minutes and then we're good to go so let's let's flag okay awesome person texting me or... yeah collins it will be, i met him at thinkation this year oh wow serious yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay so now let's 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 all let's all look at this so i want to teach you how to make your linkedin page a, a, a landing page I, I was asking who knows what a landing page is please let me know i've not seen anything um i'm not seeing anybody um who knows what a landing page is okay who knows what landing i want to see somebody who just explain briefly i'll just read your explanation uh if you know what a landing page is Oh, Collins, you are here too. You, your name just popped up. <laughs> Who knows what landing pages? Please let me know. Put in the section. Put in put in the comment in the comment section so that I greetings from Lagos. We have Lagos people in the house. Our brothers. We are so happy that you lost the Afcon. We are so so happy. On Sunday was a part you, even though you are our people. You point to Agas. How, how can yeah. you be greeting us from Lagos? You are in Lagos, but you can't Lagos. Please don't be Ooh. greeting us. <laughs> boss, boss, you are in Lagos, but you can't Lagos. You have to lose. Yeah? Calling your people. All right. So, okay. So, please, somebody should tell me what a landing page Don't just say I do. Like, let me know what, 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 how do you understand a landing page quickly? And then I'll go, I'll go on. Please, quickly. Anybody, I, I always love to hear from our people um, over here. I, Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. So I think Kim okay, said in web development. Web, okay, you're reading. Yeah. Says web, that him, <laughs> you can in web development, the landing page is a standalone web page that potential customers can land on when they click through an email, an ad, or a digital location, you can take it out from their brother. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Moses. So basically, so basically, a landing page is literally where you take your traffic after they click on your advertised link. That's what Fun Facts said. Okay. So, so basically, so exactly that. Now, mostly, most landing pages are created with the intention of trying to convert a lead into a buyer or trying to get somebody to to understand or buy your product mentally even mentally first so it's trying to convince people persuade people now the the, the thing the thing that i always say hey it will be uh yeah this thing okay we will talk uh, Collins. we'll talk very soon okay hold on a bit all right so now basically it said a landing page is a redirected page from a different platform that leads to a conversion exactly so all of that is correct all your all of your answers thank you sl thank you fun facts thank you limitless side um yeah exactly that all of you that have commented thank you so much um so yeah basically that so that is how landing pages are created like every landing page is created because that's the first page people land on okay so that is the same thing. So what I'm saying by turning your LinkedIn page into a landing page is that once people step on your page, because that's the first thing that they see your page, if they open, let's say, um, Collins page or you open SL's page, that is the first thing that you see. Okay. It's the very first thing that you get to see. Okay. So if anybody comes on your profile, how can you convert that person into a buyer? Okay. Now for me, I sell a lot of things. 
on the back end, I have a company that I run. On the back end, I also work with, um, currently work with one company remotely, okay? Now, you see, with LinkedIn, I've helped people get a lot of remote jobs on LinkedIn and all of that. I don't even want to get too too deep into that. So you can be in Ghana, you see? A lot of people are trying to jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. We know that the location, sometimes the location cannot allow you to maximize wealth. But sometimes you don't need to move physically. We're on the, we're on the age of the internet. When, when people are trying to jackpot, you, you sit at your one side, learn how to do certain things. Maybe there are a few challenges that you have. I mean, the, the economic infrastructure will not allow us to do certain things like receive money properly. So you have to find other ways. Try, I don't know how you're going to go about it. Try and get your Stripe account, PayPal, whatever, however you're going to go about it. Payoneer, that's, a, uh, that's another route. All of those things. Maybe those are the things that you need to get in place and all those things. And you can actually be in Ghana learn how to leverage things like LinkedIn and get opportunities in the US, the UK. Be in Ghana, you'll be earning pounds, your friends are all there. I don't I don't want to say some things, but I'll just end up, as I'll end up saying something. Listen, LinkedIn is that place. I'm telling you, LinkedIn is that place. You can be earning dollars every time, almost even every week. Okay, depending on how you decide, you can get a contract. I'm telling you, you can just get a contract on something, bam, fast money. It's like you, you it's like you just have to bring your value to the platform, and LinkedIn has all that for you. I mean, let's look at this. Let's look at this quickly. Now, let's look at this section before I go back to my landing page thing. This is called the job section. Okay, now listen, there are so many jobs here, so many, like anything that you want. So sometimes when people say there are no jobs in Ghana, I don't get it. Maybe you are just the person not prepared. Because as as far as I'm concerned, there are a lot of things here. There's copywriter, AI training, da, 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 all of that here now now let's just imagine we are trying to search for something okay uh let's 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 i was trying something with somebody so now let's look for uh, let's look for consultant all right let's look for consultant now i can come here now i can just do this you see this it, te it tells me hybrid remote or on site so yeah, i can choose a remote job it shows me that they have 21 results for this so i can go here uh -huh. I can go here, even in other, you can actually even go to all filters. Oh, okay. Basically, so yeah. So you can get remote jobs, listen, almost anywhere, all right? Now, I wish I could show more on that for now to be able to, like, I'll just show you a brief demo of how you can be able to intentionally leverage that and, and get more jobs and all of that. Let me see if I can show, let me show this. Uh, okay, well, after after this part, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to that part when I'm, uh, I had, before I was coming, I knew that it would take some time, so I made, a very special offer for chokma people so i'll show you later okay now because i'm part of chokma school I'm, I'm i'm part of chokma school guys uh, so now this is me okay now this is my linkedin profile right now i mean i showed you i was on twenty thousand eleven thousand over there now i'm growing and this is linkedin like it's linkedin it's not just any place Okay, but it's not just about the number of followers and all of that. Nah, that is the least for me. If you look at me and some people maybe may have a lot more followers than me or somebody who has, even when I was on 8,000, 8, the kind of opportunities I was getting is because I did it with a strategy. It's not just um, amassing. No, no, you don't do that. You have to have you have to have a mind about how you're doing things. The strategy, that's why I told you, the law of design. Intentionally maximize your life by using strategies. Now, I mean, and... Apart from that, I get people, can you see this? This is about 746 people sending me invitations that they want to follow me. I have to accept, 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 accept. A lot of people, a lot of people, 700 and something. And sometimes I accept, but it will still come back. Sometimes I can go to serious amounts, okay? Now, that is just about LinkedIn, okay? Brief. Now, let me open this page. Now, let me open my page again. Now, okay, I'm going to show you how to make your LinkedIn page a landing page. Now, if you look at my page over here, let me open my slides and, and I'll just go there. Okay, for many of you, your pages are just very ordinary, like this, okay, like this. 
your pages are just like this raw nothing nothing there that is compelling how about i show you how to be able to use this for your business now look at this this is me here now first of all let me show you the first thing that you need to do at least there's some basic things that you need to do when you're getting started with linkedin get your picture straight okay have a very good picture make sure that the picture is from your chest up i please note I'm, I'm saying some things right now i'm doing more of my linkedin coaching things for you okay now make sure the picture is from your chest up so that we can see your face so in me i intentionally use this picture my friend janice still will tell me that i have to go and do photo shoots by force she's forcing me today i met her he's telling me that no i have to go and do photo shoots she wants me to go and do photo shoots she's dragging me but for me i want to show that i'm a speaker so you see because for me public speaking is my business is what i do all right so this is me with the headset on now you know that hey you see how i'm looking executive in my shirt i went to within i went to get this especially for a certain workshop that i went to so this is me here now this is my banner picture now this is a, it's called a linkedin banner picture now you can just go on Canva and type, literally type LinkedIn banner. Let me go there for the, all of you to see that you know that we are not playing here. Okay, so let's, let me switch my tab quickly. Now, let's go to, so I was even doing this with somebody not too long ago. Now, just go here, go to LinkedIn banner, click it. Now, once you go here, uh, internet, please behave. Okay, now, once you go here, how many templates do you see linkedin banner please somebody should type it so that i'll see something how many templates is on the left side under all filters how many templates do you see how many templates do you see? how many ten they've written a number of templates how many i want to see if people are watching how many templates do you see let's let's go quickly i'll, I'll be moving very fast but i need your engagement too so it's very important to me just so that I know that I'm speaking to people, right? Okay, how many templates do you see? They've written a number of templates over here. Let me, let me hover around it so you get to see how many templates. I want to see if somebody, okay, right. So for people who are watching, this, this is about 107,000. Let me mention the exact number. Uh, exactly, somebody just put it. Over, over 100K templates. Some of them are paid. But a lot of them are free. You just you can just go here, and let me show you just a quick example. You can just go here, pick, and let me just pick this one. Let's go to customize. Let me pick somebody here. Um, the person who said, oh, the person I think his name is Kim Kim Priest Isel. Isel. You can just get. I mean, you can change the the, the font if you want, but you get this style. This is your banner. You can just make this into anything. You have to get this down. There's something on LinkedIn called an all-star profile. Okay, that means that you have to get that. I'll move. I'll move you to the deep thing very soon. I just want people who, if you are new here, I want to show you just briefly. So you have to get this at least this and this, and then get to this side. This side is called your headline. Okay, so you just get that down. Now, now that I'm done, let us say now I want to move on deeper because I, I don't have enough time. Okay, and I want to close very soon. Moses has given me let's say like two hours. Hey. Moses, this is your thing, the <laughs> let's let's give myself like um, about 20 10 more minutes aside from the 12 hours. Like let's say 12 or 10 minutes, and I'll just be done. Or I'll, I'll finish with me. Now, now we have this. I want you to look at this this quickly. Now look. Now, the very first thing if you want to make your LinkedIn page a landing page is that you see the thing about selling is that words are very important so if you want to use it for business it, it may it may be your own business it may be something that you're selling your words are very important so i want to teach you something i call the ecta what is what is the cta a ct a ct is known as the call to action but if you want to maximize it for business wins you have to deploy something i call the ecta now even on instagram there's there's a, now a, a new tool called mini chat i don't know if you know but some people if you watch those videos and they're like comment let's say usp and then you go and comment that automatically you get a message about something. This is an automated system, right? However, it's not just even about that. There's, it is the mindset behind that. It is it's something that I call an easy city, and I'll be I'll be I'll be pushing this this idea for a very long time. And this is one of my secrets to making a lot a lot of money on LinkedIn, right? Now I say I help personal brands expand and monetize on LinkedIn. See, this site usually is the title site, so most people just come and write and um, doctor speaker 
da 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 all of that if you saw my own when i had 205 connections all i had was president of this because i used to be the president of the central investing business school association which is the largest private tertiary business school association in ghana currently as i speak and i'm sure it'll forever be like that but yes that was it so this is me okay so now i move when i understood ecta and especially when i want to use linkedin for business if you want to use linkedin for business you have to use it if you just want to build a brand without trying to monetize the platform then you can just leave out your speaker and marketing consultant and all of that that works but if you want to use for business you have to get a sentence so that people know the type of value that you are bringing to them okay now not just even that end with this now this is a call to action i'm telling you to send me a message we all know what dm is direct message so i'm telling you not just send anything because sometimes when you say dm me some people don't know what to say they don't say hello you said you help personal brands or you you help me monitor they don't even know what to say but immediately the type lep i already have something that is there so some people will just come and tell like i get lep messages almost i don't know almost every time let me open my messages and see if i'll see somebody who has I'll see somebody who has said LAP. Look at this. 15 February. 15 February was when yesterday. Yesterday, just yesterday alone. LAP. Now, when I say LAP, it brings you into my what I call my funnel. Okay. So this is the very first thing. This is so can you see? Right now, I've not even I've not even replied because yesterday I was so hot. So if I take this person and I put the person to my funnel process and I ensure that this person pays me for the things that I'm about to show them, this is a new client. And I see I can get I can, I get this stuff every time every time. This was just just one little tweak to something one little. This the, the person has not even listen. The person has not even moved into my page properly. And while the person sees this, bam, every day the match has ended. <laughs> now apart from this, so this is what you can use. So the e the ECTA. So for example, if let's say Moses was doing something, he wants to be, he wants to go even his truck mask school. You can just put DM um truck mass school so cs dmcs to be added to one of the most valuable communities or something like that and i'm just giving a random idea it depends on and then he does that people will just start commenting cs yes yes you just get more people to even add to his community he just uses his linkedin page he has no soul to anybody he's not texting anybody he's not anything these are incoming people why because you see on linkedin what they love about linkedin linkedin has like advanced analytics so i can see how many people have viewed my profile so i can see the time that they view my profile so at least i get to see that okay so this person and this person so now now that, so my page is almost like a landing page now that somebody comes in the person now sees this the person is now moving he's taking action with me the person is now taking action with me this is one of the things so look at this look at i can see all the people who looked at my page right now okay within the, the past one hour two hours everything i can see all of that that is the power of the linkedin platform so the very first thing that you need to get is your headline street and your headline has to be with something called the ecta somebody write that down listen i don't teach listen if some of my students come here the people because i have basic programs and i have advanced programs this is this is this is this is like some of the stuff that i teach in like people pay me a lot some listen if when when check some people people to get, to get my seats you pay some people pay as much as 600 cds to get my session for just five hours i'm telling you the gospel truth depending on who you are if you are a foreigner cry then you just pay you pay like 200 dollars and if i convert it to my currency that is i'm not talking about a foreigner like nigerians and i mean like if you're in the the other country the us and the uk yeah, you pay like 200 dollars. if i convert that thing it will hit over two thousand. that's how i charge people so you should know that this information i'm giving you is so valuable it does help people get more business needs than ever okay so we have this here the ecta the ecta um, this thing this thing that i'm teaching nobody will teach you there's nobody even knows this stuff now you have that okay now before i used to even have my banner i just recently changed my banner like last week i had I, my banner also had something because your banner please write this down your your linkedin banner is a free billboard your linkedin banner is a free billboard please write that down somebody should type that in the comment section your linkedin banner is a free billboard so you can use that to advertise who you are even without people going around going back so now I use this as my trigger point. I help personal brand that, that. And then we are just there. And then on 15 February, somebody just sends me a message, LAP. Now I can just reply to the person with the way that I always respond and then bring the person back into my funnel. So for whatever you are doing, even if it's graphic design, I, I help somebody, one of my students, 
I'll show you her very soon. She's one of my most successful students. She's getting graphic design gigs from just doing one change like this. As soon as she goes out, can people see this? But they are asking her for money. They are, they are, you see, when you do this kind of things, you allow people to give you the chance to be able to learn from you. It's, it's not just about money, it's about learning. Being it. Businesses are always created for one type of value or another. So you are giving people value, okay? Now, aside that, once you move down, a lot of people don't use this section. It is called the service page. It's called the service page. So many people don't use it, okay? It's called the service page. Now, let me show you what the service page does. Uh, okay, so let's say if you want to, if you want to get the service page, open your profile. First of all, turn on creator mode. This thing called creator mode. Listen, this one button alone, what it can do for your page. Once you go out, maybe I'll explain the next the next round. But um, creator mode, please put it on. So you get that on, then you click it. Show details. Oh, where's my thing? I want to show you guys. Okay, so now listen. This is a special page on your LinkedIn page that you can optimize in order to sell your services specifically. So, you know, LinkedIn know that a lot of people don't use this to sell. Now, it's because people don't even optimize this page. Now, it gives you an about section. So, for me, what I do is that I expose the pain point. I say, do you struggle with public speaking, building a brand on LinkedIn, da, da, da. I'm exposing the pain point. Now, I'm giving you my services that I provide, public speaking, corporate training, da, 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 da all of that. And then I provide media pictures. So, people who come to this page can be able to see this, see this, see this, see this. And then they, they can just, once they click this, look. Oh. I would have showed you had it's not if if I was if 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 this was not my if I was logged in into somebody else's page, if I click this, it would have sent somebody to go and message me for it. So people can actually actually let me you know let me go back there. Let me go back there. Oh uh, okay, let me go. No, let me go back. I want to show you something too as well. Okay, I'm showing you something. So you have to get your service page right. I'll show you how to get that in a bit. So you can you can see the pricing is here. People can people can see how much you charge for certain, certain things. For me, I made my contacts for pricing. Some people can put their pricing there. I've seen people put their pricing there. They say I charge so and so so and so for this service. This is how much I charge. So this is like mainly like one of your sales pages. Okay, which is right under your profile. So if you want to go there, just go to open tool. Now, if you go to open tool, it brings you these two things on because i've already done my service page it's not bringing me that option but if you click the open to it's also say providing services and then you can click that and then you set your service page up this is not difficult at all all you need to do is just go there and then you go and do that i would have shown you but i don't have enough time to do all of that now quickly this place is called the featured section now let me show you how i utilize it now number one I, oh i was going to talk about digital real estate but I think maybe the next one I'll delve deeper into that part. It's called the digital real estate. We've hit two hours now, so I have to close quickly. Now, this is the featured section. Now, anybody who reads my profile, they come here, they say, I help personal brands expand and monetize. Maybe they are not, they don't take an action right from reading the sentence, right? They can come down, maybe they go and read this thing, right? Or some people just want something. What I've done is that over here in this feature section, I've only provided lead magnets. If you know what a lead magnet is, magnet is, it is to attract people who are interested in a particular service that you offer. Listen, you can be working for a company, and maybe you're an insurance company. You can put lead magnets there, maybe book a free call to be able to um, understand how to buy life insurance. People will book you. No matter your industry, I, you can tailor something. So for me, I said book a free discovery call to build a winning portable brand. People And I attach, there's a way that in the feature section, you can... So if I click the pencil, now if you don't have a feature section, let me show you how to get that quickly before I go here. Uh, you can just go here, go to add profile section, let me scroll up. So you just open your LinkedIn page, go to add profile section, go to recommended, go to featured, add featured. You click it and then it brings you here. Then you can add anything you want over here. So for me, I have a link here. So if anybody clicks this thing, let's, let's view link. It will bring you here. Check this out. Okay. I attach it to a calendar. Somebody can come here, free value call, and then they book a call with me. Now, once they book my call, this is mainly some my funnel. I give them a lot of value and all of that. And then sometimes some posts like, oh wow, I want to really learn more. Like a lot of people who 
I mean, it's, it's only for 20 minutes, so it will automatically generate all of that. So I'm giving you my secrets right now. I don't share all of these stuff. This is, of course, osmosis, guys. So now this is this is all that we have over here. Now we have this um, basically. So these are some of the things that can allow you. Also, I have this stuff. I'll show you. I think in the next one, I'll show you more on how to build the lead magnets, and I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I have that there. Now after I've got that. I'm showing you something, and after this, I'll show more hard hard tactics as well. So this is just only the first, but this is point one, remember, this is point two, sorry. You have to know the platform. This is point two, I have four points. Now, this is ever-evolving. So basically, this is your about section. Now, what you use the about section is that thing that I call ethos. Ethos, remember I talked about logos, ethos, pathos? We have the ethos. Ethos is where you build the credibility. So for me, I'm building my credibility, letting you know who I am. Now, I want you to see me as that person. So maybe if, maybe as when you read, I help personal brands, maybe you'll be like, oh, you help personal brands. Maybe I, I don't trust you. Who are you? So if you scroll down, you get to see that I'm an award-winning public speaker. I'm a corporate trainer. I'm a marketing consultant. I, I speak on a lot of stages. I have my flagship conference, that, that, all the beautiful stuff it says over here. And the thing about this thing, this part is that LinkedIn has given us, I think it's 2,600 words. Let me check it quickly to see if I'm right. 2,600 words. I said it. 2,600 words, if you can see here. We have about 2,600 words. That you can write about yourself about your business about whatever so what i use this place to do is to build credibility a lot of people use this place to sell but i don't use it to sell i use it to build credibility because i'm already using this as my business triggers all right i'm showing you stuff that i don't show a lot of people so basically this is yeah and every other thing on your page it qualifies you so this gives people if somebody sees your education and all of that or maybe a certain certification that you've got like i'm a certified high performance coach okay so i help like employees of companies reach peak levels of their work of their work potential to allow them to read, attain their goals and all of that i do that i train companies on that now if somebody sees that now it, this 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 will this will appeal to the logic of the person the logos now people will say that oh um, okay he has established his credibility but this is a logical reason because he has a certification so it's only right for me to bring him to my program to come and speak it's only right for me to bring him to um my company to train them it's only right for him to do this do this do this do you get that whole thing so basically i, I wish i'll go i could go more, more into this but it does as, as much as this but let me show you if you want to optimize your profile even without help this is what you do oh you, you don't even need it anyway all you need to do is go to the side called add profile section you click it now if you want to optimize your profile properly everything that they say over here do if they say for example you click this add education add it add position add it add services add it maybe you can skip career break career break is like you took a break in your career so you know so you add your skills you add it if they go to recommended you add featured add your certifications maybe you can add any project any recommendations recommendations provide social proof you know every good landing page has social proof so for me i i, I ensure that i always get social proof so for people who, who attend my some of my sessions my advanced sessions i have very advanced sessions where people grow there's this guy somebody he says pa is a great orator and a wonderful leader i was privileged to be mentored on him on linkedin growth and i must say he he's an excellent coach what he showed me was easy to implement and made my growth easy there are some people that i show them some hard tips and then they just start going so it's as basic as that so let me just end at this um and and end on this note for now so i've taught you basically a few things i think the next one out the next one i can just start without all the vision stuff and then i think that when the devil too acted he wasted a lot of my time and i've gone deeper for you guys but let's let's all move on and um, i can't wait for the next one so i've showed you a lot of things now before i leave i am uh, let me just quickly brush to something okay so yeah so what you can do is that if you you can get people to recommend you okay as, as as simple as that get people to recommend you on linkedin so you can all you need to do is come to this section and then click the plus and then you go to ask for a recommendation so maybe you can go to somebody who has who has um who was your client or somebody who has worked with you before so people will give you recommendations okay you can do as many as you want depending on who you are for me i i, I have so this, this is somebody over here this guy is a speaker too he's an author he's in rwanda you see it's important to build wide networks out one of my points over here is number three is that network is the secret that's the next point 
and I'll show you some stuff. You see, I'm building LinkedIn can give you the opportunity to build networks in different locations, the, in like strategic networks. So this is a, this is a, a serial entrepreneur. He was like, Paco C. Folson is the source of my follower growth on LinkedIn. Now, trust me, this guy had only about 300 followers when I met him, and this is where he is now. Within a matter of months, he will tell you. You see, the reason why I show people's names is that if you think I am lying, go and ask them. Just look for his name. I've given you the name of Otis to go ask him. We'll tell you. We make people go easily. It's easy. <laughs> easy, guys. Right? Okay, so now before I leave, right? I know I'm coming here the next time, but this is what I want to do. I in the beginning I already knew that my time was always going to be limited. So I did something that I called the Chokma Special School of the Chokma School Special Offer that I just want to release to you guys very soon. And let me just do that quickly. Moses kindly grant me some time. I'll just present the offer to you in five minutes and then we are good to go. So I said end of presentation, but okay, so this is my Chokma School special offer for you guys. Oh no, this is not sure. So this is my Chokma School presentation oh Park, crazy we'll be doing part two so can we bring the offer into part two when the whole session is completely wrapped up okay okay that's fine that's yes. fine so that so that people can people can learn from this invite their exactly. friends in some more have a lot of traffic for next month and then you could proceed and then make the special chokma school exactly. offer for them so that will come exactly in. okay okay that that will work this is part one. A special offer for you guys so you guys get uh -huh. ready I didn't, I didn't know about this offer so yeah um, <laughs> I didn't it, means, it, means, it means that park came loaded for you guys so much value so much so much value i want you to anticipate the offer next month um we've already done like two hours two two hours ten minutes already usually chokma school starts um we just do like an hour and 30 minutes and we wrap it up and usually we start early but today, Parkwesi had um, some speaking engagements he needed to attend to. So hence the reason why we started at 7.30. But I want to assure you guys that we're doing the same thing next month in the month of March. I'll communicate the date. The flyer will be out, anticipate part two. And it will be mega. Like, I want you to invite your friends. I think today we picked that about 45 people also watching in on the live stream live. Usually when we leave the... The link people make time and then they share and then they come back and watch later i think we have over 400 views on last month's webinar so i'm so confident that by the time we come back in a month we would have done quite some quite some good numbers and then there'll be a lot of people who'll be ready to um jump on the offer and people who'll be ready to also come in and learn and remember how we started the conversation tonight that says that nonsense and then it says that at the end of the day, everything that Parkwesi has been sharing in here, if you do not go back on that um, LinkedIn platform and then look at it based on the lens and everything that he's taught you and tweak your LinkedIn, you're doing yourself a lot of harm. Somebody came in all the way from Nigeria and started saying that his um, his page should be used as the testing. And then my <laughs> friend comes in and says, that is a typical Nigerian spirit. <laughs> and it should tell me how Nigerians are. People have been on it. They've not been this hungry. Somebody just pops in and then they want Park PC to use them as case studies. And so um, tonight, I want as many of you that joined in on the conversation and even those who join in later when they listen to this live stream to go back and tweak their LinkedIn. By the time Park PC comes back, remember he started off speaking about four things and then he touched on only two. There are two more things that he's not touched on. There's the special Chokman School offer that you guys need to get on to. And then there is also a lot of things that he was practically teaching you guys um how do we call it? linkedin live like on live stream so it should tell you that it's not screenshotted anything is live he's showing you his dms the numbers they are doing and all and so i entreat every single one of you anticipate but to will bring you back to um it will be bigger it will be mega hopefully then we'll start early so that we could go into yeah. two hours of the session take about 30 to 40 minutes of questions because this one is very practical for me and i want every single person who jumped on this conversation to learn and then every single person who jumped on this conversation to benefit from it Parkwesi, i don't know what your last words are but um i want to say thank you even before we go into taking your last words for the day absolutely what is i'm on it trust me usually when when i speak to people 
I always feel happy. I, 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 I can't, I can't even explain it. Okay. My last words, and this is something that, um, this is something that futurist Kwame sometimes says, but I have a little variation to it. Okay. I always say in life, there are always two sides of a coin. When there's health, there's sickness. When there's good, there's bad. When there's when we when you see poverty, that means that there's riches. Okay, uh -huh. and then there, there, there are always two sides of the coin. There's no middle ground. I mean, if you take a look at a coin, like a coin right next to me. Okay, if you look at the coin. That is high. There are no middle grounds. So we also have problems and we have solutions. So if you are not a part of the solution, that means you are automatically. That's the way future is put it. You are automatically a part of the problem. So you have to be, you have to decide to be solution oriented, decide that you want to be part of the people willing to make a change. I started by giving you two laws, the law of intentionality and the law of design. Then I moved on to the vision and all of that. Basically, that is what I want to say. Decide to be solution oriented. And last, and, and before I leave, please remember that if you don't apply, I mean, I've already showed you how to turn your LinkedIn page to a landing page. I showed you. This, these things on my page, people just open it and they just think that I've just write, I've just written something. These things are things that work. I showed you DMs. I can show you more and more. LAP, LAP are just there. A lot of things. People are sending things. We have to attend to them. Sometimes it's, it's too, it's, the, the influx of messages are so serious that now I have to get, I've been able to hire an, 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 a PA to be able to attend to these kind of things because it's like, Sometimes I can't be attentive to them myself. So it's, it's, it's massive, guys. I'm teaching you stuff that I don't even share anywhere. I've, I've done a lot of LinkedIn sessions. I've never, ever opened my LinkedIn to show them this LEP, especially when it's not the page. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't show, I don't show that at all. Trust me, guys. So please, decide to be a solution oriented. Go out in the world, go and conquer. It's time. Remember, you're a media company. So start using your platform as such. So see you guys. Moses, uh, thank you. Uh, so, thank you. The next thank you. Word. Magic. We'll make magic. <laughs> I look forward to it. This one has this one has been mind-boggling. It's been so insightful. I honestly can't wait for part two, which will be on next month. Make sure the way I will flow now. I'm saying no, the boy needs more time. You can literally teach LinkedIn for like six to ten hours. You know? Yes. Like you know, my workshops and my workshops and stuff. The one I did a holiday in was seven hours. I was on my feet doing it. Really. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because there's so much to offer. And so Guys, I, I want you guys to um, um, say thank you to Pakwisi and remember that you are a solution to your generation. Go out there and be very intentional in your living. Be very intentional in what you do. Um, do not mental masturbate on the things that you are hearing. Go back there and then start changing things on your LinkedIn. By tomorrow, I'll intentionally take time off and go to a couple of you that I know, your LinkedIn profiles to go and see what's happening in there. A lot of you have business ideas and you begin to wonder, um, MB, I have a business. How do I build connections? How do I get the right people? We're literally teaching you how to do that. And so I want every single person to go back on their LinkedIn in reference to the niche and what you do. Make sure you're maximizing that platform. The internet is a tool. Make sure you're using it to your advantage. Don't let it use you. The various apps that are on the internet are like cars driving on the road. The internet is like a road. The various apps on there are like cars that drive on that road. And so make sure that you are driving that LinkedIn car right to your destination of success. It's very, very important. And once again, Pakwesi, thank you so much for um, being of a blessing to us. We look forward to having you in the month of March when Ghana is gaining independence. And I hope that people yeah. gain independence from a lot of things that's worrying them on that LinkedIn platform. And so, again, be a student of the University of YouTube. Pakwesi has started. He's teaching you practical things. I saw some of you saying that you are now going to download LinkedIn, which means that you have about a month to get conversant with the platform. And remember that when um, we logged off with the internet and Pakwesi was in, and I showed you guys something. I said, document your process. So for somebody, they are going to create a LinkedIn page today. Make sure you take a screenshot when you take a link um, when you create that account and then make sure that by the time you are growing steadily you have various screenshots to prove that you've transitioned from one place to the other it's very very important for growth yeah Pakwesi, thank you so much for coming on chokma school um we really really are honored that you came and you shared so much light and so much value i really really appreciate it god bless you and i look forward to seeing you god willing next month god Have bless you, you. Absolutely. Awesome. We'll talk after. We'll Most talk definitely. After. Most definitely.
Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, super excited. Tomorrow, all the way um, if in the Volta region, I will be speaking at um, Success Africa. The Seven Universal Currency Global Tour is headed to the Volta region. I'll be speaking at Success Africa. You has. I'll be sharing on the Seven Universal Currencies. If you're in the Volta region, if you have friends in the Volta region, if you have friends in HTU, if you have friends in you has invite them let them know that mba will be in town if you haven't received copies of my books make sure you are there i'm going to personally autograph it for you i look forward to um being of a blessing and imparting as many of you that will be there so see you in the volta region tomorrow um if you are in the volta region and like i always say love and light um choke masku episode three next month would we'll have pack come back to us in the month of april is my birth month so like we always do the special birthday edition of Chokma School will be with us in the month of April. And I look forward to being of a blessing to as many of you as possible this year through this platform. It's a free platform. And so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's so much value on here. Share the link to the channel. Get somebody to sign on. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and let's get the message out there. I love you all. Do enjoy your weekend. God bless you. Love and light like I always say. Cheers, guys.